guys, welcome back to another episode of Atlas Survival Shelters. I hope you're all having a fantastic day. Guys, God forbid we ever see Armageddon or the apocalypse, but you know the way the world's going, who knows? Chinese is arming up, they're getting all kinds of nuclear weapons, they're creating an Air Force and a Navy and everything bigger than the United States. And the only adversary they're going to have is us. So let's say they have unleashed those nuclear weapons on us and God forbid this ever happens. nuclear explosion over one of our major cities or over all our major cities god forbid so one of the things that is created by a nuclear explosion downwind is radioactive iodine and what happens it attacks your thyroid it screws you up actually i'm not going to explain it to you in this video a buddy of mine shane connor with a company called ki4u and i've done a couple other videos with him and they get a lot of views so i hope you guys really enjoy this video but this product right here Vita Vata Vitamin. No, no. I feel like Lucille Ball right now. <laughs> Remember that name. Mita Vata Medimat. <laughs> Actually, this is potassium iodide from this company called Thyroid Safe. This is available from KI4U. This is only $12 to $14 a box, guys. So this will last your lifetime. I suggest every one of you preppers, if you have any concern, about nuclear warfare in your future or your kids future get you a box of this stuff from the guy that's about ready to be interviewed in my video so guys sit back and enjoy so i don't screw this video up anymore enjoy it hey guys we're making another stop here now i've done a couple of videos with shane here at ki for you he's the guy that supplies uh radiation equipment but today we're going to do a video about potassium iodine and why you need it in your survival supply hey ron good to see you yeah yeah, a lot of people have heard about potassium iodide, and uh, not to confuse it, it's not potassium iodine. Potassium iodide or potassium iodate, they'll both do the same job. Uh, FDA approved and recommended if we had to deal with nuclear fallout. With nuclear fallout, there's a soup of oh, dozens of different radionuclides that are released, radioisotopes that are released into the atmosphere, and as they go downwind, they get dispersed. Uh, but if you inhale or, in, or ingest any of these things, they could be very dangerous to you. As they get dispersed, though, the one that's expected to do the most damage downwind by health physicists is radioactive iodine. And that's expected to hurt the most people the further downwind you are. Now, if you're able to take potassium iodide beforehand, even an hour beforehand, what you're going to do is fill up your thyroid gland with safe, stable iodine, and then if you later ingest or inhale any radioactive iodine, your body is already full up and your kidneys will just get rid of it. You'll just pee it away before it can do any damage. Your thyroid gland is an iodine sponge, and whichever iodine gets there first, either safe, uh, ra uh, safe uh, iodine like you would get in potassium iodide, if that gets there first, your thyroid gland is full up, and if you ingest or inhale radioactive iodine later, uh, your body's just going to get rid of it, and you're going to be fine. This was proven in Chernobyl, the, the areas that got potassium iodide first. Those people didn't have any problems. Other, other areas that didn't get it, the kids had a lot of problems with it. So potassium iodide is very important. We have it available. You can find it online from other people, too. Uh, the stuff will last forever if you keep it dry and uh, keep it from uh, getting too hot. Uh, the stuff will, is indefinite as far as how long it'll last. But when something happens, it's going to disappear real quick. So you got to get it before you need it. What does this stuff cost? You're looking at $12 to $14 per packet. That's enough for one adult for one incident. Uh, and, and that's all you need. Now, one packet will take care of at least two kids, depending on how small they are, uh, possibly more if the kids are really young. All the instructions are inside for the dosing. And and Thyrosafe is one of the three FDA-approved formulations uh, for a nuclear emergency. And again, the big deal with this, it's very inexpensive, but it will be unavailable when something happens. We saw this with 9-11 and uh, with Fukushima. 
the stuff disappeared in 48 hours. Wow. And so can you keep it in a refrigerator and a freezer or? Room temperature is fine. You just don't want to be storing it in the glove box of your car in a Texas summer. Uh, you'll end up ruining it. Uh, but if you'll keep it dry and if you keep it cool, uh, it's indefinite. It'll have an expiration date on it, but you can ignore that as long as you keep it cool and dry. Is there just one pill in there or how many pills are in that box? <clears throat> You've got 20 tablets in here. An adult would take two a day. Um, and, and what you would do after the first day is you'd go ahead and do it every 12 hours to go ahead and split it out. Um, but the maximum you'd ever be taking it would be for up to 10 days. But for most people, it's just going to be a couple of days that they would need to take it. What if you're down inside a bomb shelter? Would you need it, it since you're breathing air that's being uh, filtered through the NBC air filtration system? You're probably going to be in better shape uh, if you are underground, but it's not going to hurt you to have taken it. And that's only 12 to $14 a box? Correct. And what would happen if you didn't take this and you were breathing that in? <clears throat> the biggest problem is for the youngest children. Uh, their thyroid gland is, is uh, still developing. They're still growing. Uh, they can run into a lot of developmental problems, uh, thyroid cancer even. Um, and, and when you think about thyroid cancer, there's about a thousand people each year that actually die from thyroid cancer. It's not just a matter of uh, getting the operation and having your thyroid gland removed. Um, so you, you want to avoid it. It's kids that are most at risk. As you and I get much over the age of 45, the odds of the cancer fully expressing itself in our remaining lifetime begins to drop off. So when it comes to a limited supply, we want to be giving it to the children first. Do you still carry the Nucalert? We do. Yeah, and tell me Very really popular. quick about the Nucalert. The Nucalert's a high range detector and it's going to be, this is something that can be on your keychain and you're going to have it, uh, it's going to be with you all the time, it's always on, and it will go to alarming at 10 different levels. At the lowest level, when it initially alarms, uh, you've actually got many hours, if not days, to get into a safe place. But at the higher ranges, when we get up to eight or nine or 10, at that level, you have literally hours to go ahead and get into a safer place. It doesn't mean that you're gonna get a fatal dose of hours, but you could be uh, at the highest level, at the 10 level, you could actually have radiation sickness where you're throwing up and nauseous within two hours. So this will go ahead and let you know if we get into dangerous levels of radiation and uh, how quickly you need to go ahead and find a safer place. How long does the battery last in those? Because I've had one on my keychain for years. 10 years. 10 years. 10 years. It's wow. very conservative. Now, that, that's as long as you're not exposing it to high heat frequently. It's a big lithium battery. Mm -hmm. And also that it's not alarming frequently. Uh, but 10 years is a conservative number. And what do these sell for now? You're looking at $160, and that does include shipping. And we've been selling them for 20 years now. Yeah, I've had one for at least 10. Uh, so Shane here has been a prepper for how long? Uh, long time. Long time, yeah. I mean, he's one of my mentors, guys. And uh, I've known him ever since the very beginning. And he's in Gonzales, Texas, which is not far from where my first bunker is at. And he also sells all the uh, radiation detection equipment. What else do you have on the table back there? <clears throat> well, we are the only private radiation calibration lab in the country that specializes in recalibrating and recertifying all of the old civil defense equipment. So if you have any of the yellow meters or any of the dosimeters or Geiger counters, we're the place that you send it to to make sure that it's uh, currently active and accurate. And the reason the old stuff still works is why? Because radiation hasn't changed, has it? No, it hasn't. And uh, these are still in current use by uh, half a dozen states. They're still using them, even though FEMA discontinued the program. These instruments used to be in every county, in every state in, in America. And uh, unfortunately, the Clinton administration defunded that FEMA program. And so we only have half a dozen states that are still paying for it on their own. Not for civil defense, but they're doing it more for any transshipment 
of radioactive materials. If they had a, a train wreck or a truck wreck, uh, they're going to have some people on hand that'll, that'll know if it's dangerous radiation with these instruments. So they're still available. You can either buy them from us already calibrated or buy one on eBay and send it to us and we'll get it calibrated for you. And everything you need to find out is at ki4u.com. Yeah, this is the guy that does the article, The Good News of Nuclear Destruction. And why is there good news about nuclear destruction? <clears throat> uh, the good news is it's much more survivable than you'd ever imagine. Now, the people that are too close right at ground zero, unfortunately, they're gone. But the majority of the casualties, 90% of the casualties, are further out in the blast zone and also further downwind in the fallout zone. And for both of those groups of people, and again, we're talking over 90% of the people, if they know a couple of simple things to do, which we talk about in that article, they can avoid unnecessarily becoming a casualty. What this means is if the general public was taught civil defense again, and it's really just two things, duck and cover and shelter in place for two days. If they knew how to do that, knew to do it right away, we could make all nuclear weapons 90% less lethal just by teaching the public again what to do. And that's what the Good News article is all about. And that is the good news. It's much more survivable than you ever imagined. Well, guys, I appreciate uh, Shane giving us another tour of his place. And so, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. And that's Shane Connor at KI4U.